Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. Today is National Oatmeal Cookie Day. So Elizabeth Calloway is joining us. She is the owner of Sweet Batch Cookies. It's nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. I mean, any day with cookies <laughs> is a good day. I would agree with you uh, on yep, that. Yep, yeah. I know. Tell me a little bit about Sweet Batch and what you guys do. So we kind of make cookies, muffins, a lot of drop stuff, cupcakes, things like that that are easy to pick up and grab. We do sell our muffins at Through Grace Coffee Shop downtown on Main. Okay. Um, but also like posting things on Instagram, recipes, you know, different things to do with your kids, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Fun, fun. Okay, so if we want to purchase some cookies, the easiest way is through Instagram? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's All right. Easy. Just shoot me a message, send in your order, and we can have it done. All right. Well, you're going to show us how to bake some delicious yes. oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal cookies are tricky, I feel like, because you don't want to get them too dry. Yeah. It's okay. a lot easier than people make it think. There's a couple of little tricks and tips that help. Okay, good. So definitely room temperature temperature, butter, eggs, room temperature stuff is the key. Okay. So we already have our butter here. Okay. Um, so we usually like to start with butter. We have one cup of sugar. Okay. And, and is this recipe anywhere special? Like is it grandma's recipe? So Did you come up with it? So there's actually a very funny story behind okay. this. Um, my friend Danielle, she had a very hard time baking cookies and she struggled a little bit. So she I feel said- like Danielle's my people. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she's been on the show before. So there we go. Um, she could not get it done. She's like, please, can you get these done for me? So I had her send over the recipe and um, just kind of been using it ever since. However, okay. we will switch up a couple of things. Okay. Um, but yeah, so sugar, uh, brown sugar as well. Okay. We are also going to throw in about two teaspoons of vanilla. I kind of eyeball it, but feel free I, to. I'm an eyeballer. You know. Yeah. Um, so we'll go ahead and start mixing that up. You can't just throw everything in there all at once. That's a thing. Like, okay. do not throw everything at <laughs> Follow once. Follow the rules, right? Yes, and okay. you really don't even need a mixer like you this. You do it by hand? You can do it by hand. If you have a hand mixer, okay. that kind of works as well. Um, so we'll try to mix it up as much as we can here. It makes it so much easier when you're working with the room temperature yes. ingredients. I always yeah. try to throw the butter in while it's still cold, and that's a bad plan. Yes, yeah. that, that does not work very well. Um, so after the sugar, the sugar and butter is mixed up together, you're definitely going to want to dump in your eggs. These also, um, it's really good. They just mix together really well when it's room temperature as well. Okay. So we'll throw in our eggs. We'll mix this up again yeah, a little bit. Yep. Now, are you, I see we have raisins here. I feel yes. like raisins go in oatmeal cookies. Yep. I know a lot of people like to throw in some chocolate chips too. Yeah, so this recipe, here's the thing about this recipe. You can use anything that you'd like. Okay. We've thrown in chocolate chips, pecans, butterscotch, um, raisins, okay. the cran raisin things, really anything. Um, right here we have a teaspoon of baking soda and baking, baking soda. powder. So one of each, and then we'll go ahead and dump in our flour. This is two cups of flour. Okay. We'll mix this in first together. Now, do you like to bake? I have a girlfriend who loves to bake. Like baking is her thing. I'm yeah. more of a like, dinner person, I yeah. don't know. I do not know how to bake that well. So it's really weird. I really enjoy baking. I love baking for everybody else. I will just pick at it. So I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't really eat too much of it, um, but I definitely pick at it a lot. So, uh, yeah, but I enjoy baking. It's also something I get to do with my kids. Yeah. And you know, whenever stuff stays at home, they get to put their little hands in mm -hmm. there and it's just hopefully building memories with them. So right here we have two and a half cups of oatmeal. Okay. And we can also throw in the raisins. This is about a cup and a half. Okay. If you'd like more, add some more. If you don't like any, you don't even have to put anything in there at all, really, so. So that'll get a good mix, and then that will get a good mix. What's the best way to get the cookies onto the sheet? Are you using like an ice cream scooper type thing? Yes. Okay. So depends on the size of cookies that you want to use. This is mixed up pretty good. Okay. And you see the consistency is kind of you know doughy, not too, not too hard or anything. Okay. So let's kind of scoop this down. So you can do different size cookies. I. For big cookies like this, I love using a big ice cream scooper. Okay. They, you know, they sell them anywhere. Um, just kind of scoop it up. It makes them easy and it makes them uniform. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so there's also a smaller one, and like you can find these little things mm -hmm. and kind of individually place them. But I like using the big ones. 
kind of spread them apart. Do you apart. put them into the oven like that or do you smush it down? I put them into the oven like that. Okay, yes. that's good to know. I yeah. think that's a, Pop a them trick in like to this. keeping them moist. And honestly, what you really should do to keep them moist, keep them intact, is let them refrigerate for at least an hour. Another tip. So yeah, another it. tip, kind of holds them together. If you were to put it in right now, it's probably gonna spread a little bit, but it'll still come out great. Okay. So. All right, guys, well, here is the deal. It is Elizabeth's one year anniversary. So today only, you're going to get 15% off your order if you do it through Instagram. You can find Elizabeth on social media. Uh, just send her a message. It's sweetbatch underscore SA on Instagram. Take a look at your screen. All the information is there. And again, you can take off 15% of your orders on Instagram today.